Three attempts this time. Good Lord. YouTube. I don't know if there's just a ton of people trying to be live right now, but uh, three attempts this time. Uh, so let's just go ahead and uh, see if this is actually working, to see if people are actually going to see this, to see if this is actually going to happen or if I have to restart the stream. Because there's two people. All right. So Lord Luigi, first comment. Lord Luigi. Hey, Cincy, how's it going? And I'm guessing you made a pre-order. I did indeed. I did indeed make a pre-order on the G.I. Joe classified six-inch Destro. <clears throat> King Dingaling Destro Wrist Rockets Baby. Imperial Holocron. Yo, Cincy, I have to bend my little hat bill because this is a brand new hat. Uh, Imperial Holocron, what's up? Kevin Nair, what's up? Stuart Fulbrook, how's it going? Michael Taylor, Cobra! <laughs> that was terrible. Ionicus is here. Uh, so we got 13 peeps, four thumbs up. Let's get started. This right here. This is the main topic of discussion. This surprised the crap out of me. I had no idea that they were going to be showing this this morning. Um, I will give credit to... Mr. Not Another Retro Channel, Craig, for sharing the very first picture I saw of this where my jaw basically dropped to the ground. I was like, holy frick, are you serious? And uh, when I started looking at the pictures, I was very, very happy to see how close to the original version. This is not the original, original version. This is the 20, this is not even the 25th version. This is the 30th or 50th, something like that version. This is my favorite modern three and three quarter inch version of Destro, but I'll get to that later. That's my main topic. I want to talk about the Destro. I want to talk about um, other Cobra figures that I like to see them do like right away. Because uh, we know we're going to get a Cobra Commander. I think that's already been solicited. We're pretty sure we're going to get a Baroness because she's on the back of the packaging. But there's some other characters here, some other figures which, spoiler alert, <laughs> right there. I wasn't aware that my uh, camera was already showing them in frame, but you, I'll, I'll talk about those later. Uh, I want to go over some WWE elite, elite figures that I picked up. I picked up two Elite figures. Coincidentally enough, neither of them are in the WWE anymore. I picked up a new Hot Toy figure. I'm going to show that one to you. I'm going to show you the amazing accessory that it comes with. Um, and then we're going to talk GI Joe. What, what, what else was on my thing here? I think that was it. Stuart Fulbrook uh, on Facebook, Stuart Fulbrook says, which do you think looks better, the sideshow or hot toy baby Yoda? Uh, if you're not, if you're watching right now and you're not friends with me on Facebook, friend me on Facebook. And I posted a picture and the picture, I forgot where I got it. I saw it randomly on Facebook somewhere. Someone posted it. So if you posted it, credits to you. But I copied that and it's a picture. And the, the top part is an actual screenshot of Baby Yoda or the child from the show. The middle one is the Hot Toys version. For those that don't know, they announced also, in addition to the Destro six inch figure, that we also saw our first pictures of a one to one full size, life size scale Baby Yoda by Hot Toys. We already knew that there was one by Sideshow, which I did pre-order and I'm paying off currently. Uh, every time that $50 hits, I'm like, what the frick did I just get charged for? Oh, yeah, it's Baby Yoda. Uh, but it's the, the top picture is a screenshot of the child. The middle picture is the Hot Toys. It's all the face, face shot. The middle one's the Hot Toys version. The bottom one is the Sideshow. Face alone, face alone, Sideshow looks like it's an actual prop from the show. Like, and I, I I can't confirm this, but I read something where, uh, where is it? People started commenting. Um, so Daniel Bandy on Facebook said, the guys that made the actual puppet for the show are the ones producing the Sideshow one. Sideshow put their name on it, so I think the Sideshows is always going to look better. And then uh, James Sawyer from Toy Department made a good point as well. The deciding factor for me is articulation. Sideshow is beautiful, but it's a statue. Hot Toys is articulated. We still don't know like how articulated the Sideshow is going to be. 
I personally think it's not going to be very articulated, but it looks literally like it was plucked right from the show. So it's still weighing on my mind as far as which one I'm going to get. I'm 90% sure I'm going to keep the sideshow one just because I really, really like how authentic and realistic it looks. But the accessories, the articulation for the hot toys does look good. It just, it doesn't look as, 100% accurate to the show as the sideshow one. So there you go. I uh, wanted to talk about that first. So if you're friends with me on Facebook, take a look at that picture after this is done and then uh, take a look and see for yourself the difference between the, the different faces. So I got 65 in here, 21 thumbs up. Let me see who else is here. Uh, and then we'll get to some WWE elite uh, haulage and I'm going to take them out of the package and everything. And then I'm going to show you this hot toys figure I got. And then we'll talk Joe's. So first of all, um, happy Friday, everyone. Uh, hopefully you are hanging in there. Hopefully you're healthy. Hopefully you're happy. Hopefully you're stress-free. Um, but thanks for hanging out with me. So the Smirking Bear Studio is here. Knight of Ren is here. Uh, Imperial Holocron. I think the artwork is just a preview for the most part. Uh, the big little J2496. What's up? Do you have the Mezco Magneto? If so, how is it? I do. Uh, can you see it in the background there? No, you cannot. I do have the Mezco Magneto. And what I can do is uh, on the Monday, Wednesday, or Friday live stream next week, I'll actually show that one to you up close. Uh, and it is one of my favorite Mezcos in my collection. So I 100% uh, recommend it. And it's from what I believe, one of the first times Mezco has done a wired cape. Because previously on other figures, they had that weird articulation system, which was a bunch of like plastic wires and stuff that plugged into the base that would articulate a cape. And the Mezco Magneto is a completely wired cape. The, I believe the full cape is wired. Uh, and you can really articulate that cape and it looks fantastic. So 100% I recommend that Magneto. I actually like... Magneto so much as a character and I like that figure so much I have the you know the classic looking version and I have on pre-order the PX previews version the all white uh, version of Magneto so I can't wait for that one it says it's supposed to ship this month or probably next month but I I cannot wait for that figure it looks awesome uh, where was I since he can you say hi to my son Ben Taylor hi Ben how are you uh, thank you for joining us. Hopefully you're doing all right. Hopefully you're staying busy. I'm not sure if you're doing online learning like my girls are. Uh, they have a lesson plan, which is supposed to last them all day long, but they literally breeze through their schoolwork in like three hours. So they're done by like lunchtime and then they just, they're messing around for the rest of the day, having fun, playing with toys, making Lego sets, doing TikTok dances, stuff like that. But they're, uh, I'm checking their work. They're doing it all right. So if, if you're doing online learning, good luck. And hello, Ben. Uh, let's see. The, I think the only G.I. Joe figures I'll pick up are Snake Eyes and Cobras. Uh, Knight of Ren says that. I have on pre-order all of the figures except for Scarlet. I need to see Scarlet in person, in package, before I make the decision on that. But I feel comfortable enough with Destro, obviously. That was an instant pre-order for me. By the way... From what I uh, heard, uh, I think Hasbro Pulse might have sold out on the pre-order, uh, but Big Bad Toy Store is still offering it. And it says, I don't know how accurate they are with the release dates, but it says they're going to get it a month before uh, Hasbro Pulse is shipping. So uh, check out Big Bad Toy Store. I think um, someone said it was on Amazon too. So check out Amazon if you want that Destro. But going back to my original statement, I currently have on pre-order the Duke, the Roadblock, and the Destro. I do not like the gun with Roadblock, but I, I like everything else about Roadblock. I love the green vest look because that was a figure I never had as a kid. I had the original Roadblock with like the camouflage uh, like tank top, uh, but I didn't. I did not have the neon green vest version with the gray pants. Um, so it's a very very cool look to me, and I like that they did that on uh, six inch. So I got that one pre ordered too. Probably won't use that railgun thing. I'll probably try and go to, uh, to like Marauder and, and buy an actual realistic, more realistic looking gun for a roadblock, but but there you go. Uh, let's see, where was I? Um, 
Eddie, comic book beach. So BJ Bonsall's here. What's up, man? Eddie Mendez, a good morning, everyone. It's still morning in Cali. Good morning there. It is, uh, what, 9? Is it 8, 10, 10 or 9, 10? I think it's 10, 10 there in California. And I'm wearing my LA Kings jersey. Number eight, Drew Doughty. Got a new Kings hat. I got like three new NHL hats. I've been uh, doing a lot of online shopping during this pandemic. Um, and it's made me feel pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta, I gotta tone it down so I'm not spending so much money. Uh, let's see, Corey Knight and Marie. Uh, okay, so and the comments jumped. So the comments jumped, and I'm at the bottom. Scarlet was the only other figure I pre-ordered besides Snake Eyes. Wish the Joe line had build a figs. I'd love the Cobra Snake armor as a build a figure. I will talk about that a little bit later. I think that's an excellent idea to have the snake armor, but I also have another. Vehicle, a smallish vehicle, which I think that they could easily do in the six-inch line, which I'll show you. Can you see it there? Is there a spoiler for it? No. What figure was that in the thumbnail? This was the, I think this is the 50th, uh, 50th anniversary Destro. Um, really well done articulation on this. Single jointed elbows, but double jointed knees. Uh, really good ankle um, articulation. It's got like a torso articulation, and it looks damn good. You probably cannot see it on this camera, but it looks fantastic. It is my favorite modern interpretation of Destro uh, that we've gotten. So this is um, this is awesome. And uh, I don't know if anyone else is thinking about this, but um, I will still continue to collect three and three quarter inch GI Joe figures. Even though it looks like they're gonna be converting over to six inch, you know, the, the biggest line right now for Star Wars, arguably, is the Black Series on the six-inch line. And I do collect the Black Series, but I'm not going to stop collecting the vintage collection figures. Uh, my heart with toy collecting began and will always be with three and three-quarter-inch figures. So I started collecting Star Wars figures. I started collecting G.I. Joe figures. I always have a place for three and three-quarter-inch figures. So I'm always going to collect any new Joes they make in three and three-quarter-inch. I still have a ton of freaking convention and club exclusive Joes that I have to buy. Uh, and then I'm always going to collect the vintage collection Star Wars figures because I just, I love them. They look great. Um, the price is starting to go up on those things a little bit, but I'll always collect those. Even if there's, even if the primary focus is on six inch, I'm always going to collect three and three quarter inch. There is rumored vintage Joe figures coming to Walmart, Michael Taylor says. Uh, Hasbro Pulse sold out of Destro, which was supposed to release in June, but they added more to pre-order with a release date of July. So there you go. So currently still in stock. The Big Little J2496 says, so thank you for that. Jeff Garrity says, Entertainment Earth has a pre-order for the new Destro. I'm going to go ahead and it's 111 here in Michigan, Ionicus says. I'm going to go ahead and open some um, of these WWE Elite figures. I only got two, so I'll show you those. I did, by the way. Take the time to transform Wheeljack. I was messing around with this. And there is the car mode, the alt mode of Wheeljack. And I just wanted to show you that because I think it looks freaking incredible. I think it looks awesome. And once I actually figured out this, this uh, transformation, I was, uh, I was doing it pretty easily. So at the end, if we still have time and I'm looking at the comments, I'll actually transform this thing and show you. Uh, it's pretty... Pretty easy once you got it down to transform it. There's a few parts that are kind of tricky, but um, I just wanted to show you that because I think it looks freaking phenomenal. Badass. And then the this little shoulder, mini shoulder gun can plug in at the top if you want to, but just wanted to share that. Have you watched Doctor Who before? Yes, I um I watched Doctor Who as a child, and I don't remember which season it was, but it gave me nightmares. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was really young when I watched it. And there must have been some kind of scary episode. But Doctor Who just freaked me the frick out when I was a kid. Uh, and then I got back into it when uh, the guy that I don't remember his name. So please let me know in the chat. The guy that played Destro in Rise of Cobra. Is it Christopher Eccleston? I think that's his name. He was the Doctor Who. I What was that? Season nine? And I started watching them like, this is a good friggin' show. So I, I am like 75% through that season. And obviously I have a lot more to catch up to get to where it currently is, but I am actually into Dr. Who. And it's one of those shows where if I'm just bored and I, I, you know, there's, 
I, there's no movies to watch or whatever. I'll just throw on some Doctor Who and I'll just watch that. But uh, I do like that show. Uh, let's see. Wheeljack's car mode looks sweet, Ionica says. Thinking about it, maybe the Deathlock railgun can work for Roadblock. Oh, yeah. Uh, Henny B says that. So uh, I did pick up a couple new WWE Elite figures. I got these both on Amazon. They were both a really good deal. I think Broken Matt was like $13. And I think um, Brody Lee formerly known as Luke Harper was like, I think 15 bucks, but they're both under retail. So there you go. I'm going to open these guys up. These, uh, these guys are both for those that don't know that are not wrestling fans. They're no longer in the WWE. They both made their debut the same night in front of a no audience crowd, uh, on AEW. So they're now all elite, all delete for, uh, Matt Hardy, broken Matt Hardy. And then there is a uh, formerly known as Luke Harper, formerly uh, one of the Bludgeon Brothers. He is now the Exalted One, and I love that gimmick. I love what they're doing with that gimmick. Uh, but this is Luke Harper, now known as Brody Lee. There's the packaging, packaging, and this one is uh, this is a newer line, and it comes. With, this is actually a build a ref, uh, dangerous Danny, dangerous. <laughs> Dangerous Danny Davis uh, is the builder ref there, and uh, Mick Foley, Kofi, and Booker T. I actually want all those figures, so I might be building that dangerous Danny Davis there. But uh, there you go. I'm gonna open. Uh, I'm gonna open Woken Matt or Broken Matt. All delete first. If I had a friggin' knife, and knife. There we go. So I hope everyone's doing all right. Um, I know there's a lot of wrestling fans among us. I know not everyone likes wrestling, but I'm a huge, huge fan of wrestling. I have been I have been watching wrestling religiously since 1999. Before that, I watched it occasionally as a as a kid. My cousin, I credit my cousins to getting me into uh, wrestling. Uh, but uh, I really got into it and really got invested during the Goldberg era and during like Degeneration X. So there is a uh, broken mat or woken mat. There's dangerous Danny Davis's head right there. And let me pop this thing out. Freaking tie downs. How did I know? I got these little friggin' these things are a pain in the butt because they're so freaking tight. On these damn things. This is going to take. Here, let's do this. Clip. I should have. I should have done this before the stream. Clip. Holy frick. Hi, Cincy. Ferb says. What's up, Ferbs? Montgomery Design, my birth year. What's your birth year? 2000? Or 1999? Um, I was... 24 in 1999. So that'll tell you how old is F I am, but this is badass. This is awesome. This is so freaking cool. Uh, sorry, I'm just taking a look at this figure. What's funny is the fact that Brody Lee on AEW came out in like an all white, almost this exact attire. And then Matt is wearing like red and black, like uh, Harper on that figure. So it's kind of funny that they're wearing each other's, I mean, wearing each other's kind of looks or colors. But uh, there you go. There's delete, delete, delete. That's badass. Comes with a couple hands. There's a hand right there. Comes with another pointing finger there. This is cool. So, and uh, good ankle rock. Good ankle rocker there, and double jointed knees. There's what he looks like under. And this does come off there, as you could see. So, and then it says, <laughs> you're not gonna be able to see that. It says House Hardy on the back. But this is a cool figure. If you're into wrestling figures, I definitely recommend this. Um, I'm trying to pick up more elite figures of current AEW wrestlers because I'm so anxious to get the damn AEW figures that I'm starting to buy like elite figures. Hopefully they scale well, but uh, I was, uh, I'm trying to find a uh, Neville or 
pack as he is right now in death triangle. Um, Cause there was one that he looks exactly like he does now with the beard and stuff. But uh, that's an elite figure that I'm still trying to hunt down for a good price on Amazon. It's like $38. So if it goes down in price, I'll probably pick that one up as well. But uh, I'm going to open up Brody Lee now. Uh, for those that are uh, watch the, uh, the major wrestling podcast, YouTube channel, uh, Zach Ryder and Kurt Hawkins, they are uh, big time wrestling figure collectors. And I was kind of surprised to see on uh, their most recent video, Zack Ryder goes on a toy hunt with Marty Skrull, who is currently a free agent. He's an NWA Ring of Honor. Um, there's been some possible hints at maybe some AEW, but he just happened to be down in Orlando where they did the toy hunt, and it made me think, was he down there to visit the Performance Center and or WWE? So I don't know, maybe. I think Marty Skrull would be a freaking star, a huge star in any promotion he goes to. So if he goes to WWE, I, I see him doing great, great things. Uh, if he goes to AEW or sticks in NWA or sticks in Ring of Honor, just see great things. So here is the, um, the Luke Harper in his Bludgeon Brothers gear, Brody Lee now. I'm going to take this off. Show you what he looks like under this. This is a thick coat. Am I going to be able to get it off? Damn. And it has one sleeve, as you could see. I guess that I never noticed that on uh, TV when they weren't on TV that much. Uh, they kind of stopped doing that. I like that gimmick, the Bludgeon Brothers, but I never noticed that one of the sleeves was longer or one of the sleeves was there and one of them was not there. But this is a really, really cool looking figure. There we go. Brody Lee, Luke Harper. Very awesome. I never knew they were uh, kick pads on his shins there. But there you go. He comes with uh, the big mallet, which I need to take a hair dryer to because that is warped. And he comes with uh, a fisted hand and in uh, regular hand there. So there you go, Brody Lee and Matt Hardy. Pretty awesome. So there we go. There was uh, the first little unboxing I was gonna do. I'm gonna look at some comments now. Um, and then, um, and then uh, we'll get to the hot toy figure that I have. 115 people in here, 42 thumbs up. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, let's see. Nicholas Petrosian said that was funny with super Gabby. Yeah. Uh, super Gabby is a vendor down in Orlando who, <laughs> who sells wrestling figures out of his storage unit. And he's, he's very, very shady. Uh, he's kind of a character. He's very much a character. Uh, so if you want to see Zack Ryder and Marty Skrull buy figures from, a just, a a character of a dude, uh, watch the, um, the major brothers wrestling figure podcast. I think I got that right. Uh, Jeff Garrity, hey, since you do have an address so I could send you something. Yeah, I have a uh, P.O. box, um, and I don't remember what it is right now, so I'll have to look I'll look it up. Um, but it's on all my videos. If you go in the description of all my videos, it's on there. All the videos that are not live streams. Um, I'm going – I'm getting a Tony Stark racing suit, and it will be at my house April 2nd or April 10th. That's awesome. Uh, I think that'll look good. What's up, Cincy? Nice to see you, my friend. Nice to see you, Seth, on the uh, chat. Did I miss WWE figs? Yeah, I just did the uh, Broken Matt Hardy elite figure and the Luke Harper uh, or Brody Lee elite figure. Uh, until you get more six-inch Joes, what figure are you displaying Snake Eyes with? He's currently um, – so on the – I have a very, very long office desk, and – Two thirds of the desk are taken up by two monitors, a laptop, a mic, a sound shield, uh, a light, a lot of like technical stuff. And then the other one third of this desk is figures. So this, where my hand is right now, all the way to the window is all figures. And he's currently standing there with a bunch of figures. Uh, so he's by himself right now. How's Mrs. Cincy doing? She's doing awesome. Uh, she's working from here. So Staying busy. 
Uh, let's see if I find another Cobra stun. I will. Ionica says, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm wanting a hydro for Cobra hydrofoil in uh, complete condition, all the stickers, everything working. And then I'm looking for a stun also. Uh, Seth says I have lost a ton of weight. I have lost 20 pounds since the beginning of the year. Uh, I'm trying to eat right. I just had a piece of pizza and a corn dog for, <laughs> for lunch, but I'm doing cardio every day and I'm doing, uh, sit-ups and, uh, crunches every single night before bed. So, uh, it's keeping me in decent shape. Uh, do you ever get into the UFC figs? I have a tote full from like 15 years ago. I used to collect those when they first came out. I actually used to train in MMA. So I was huge in a UFC. I ordered every single pay-per-view for UFC. Uh, I could successfully predict the outcome of most matches to like 80%. Um, I, I was I was really good at like uh, figuring out how someone was going to win a match and whatnot. So I was really, I studied UFC. Um, but I, I don't really, I watch it every now and then when there's a big match. But I'm not, de I'm definitely not as heavy into it as I used to be. Uh, when Tay Tay was born, I used to train, I trained for like five years in Muay Thai, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I did boxing, and I stopped outright when she was born. Um, I just didn't have the time. I also stopped playing hockey for the most part too, so. Uh, let's see here. What do you think of the SHF Baby Yoda and Beskar Mando, if you've seen them, that is? Nicholas, I haven't even seen pictures of that, so I need to check that out. What's my favorite WWE Elite action figure of all time? Uh, a figure that I do not have that I desperately want. It's like the top of my want list in WWE Leaf figures. It's the Rated R Superstar Hall of Fame Edge figure. Uh, I passed on it stupidly, thinking that I could just get it later, and it's long sold out. So uh, it's a Hall of Fame Rated R Edge, and I really want that figure. And I really want uh, WWE Elite uh, to do a new Edge figure. Hopefully they will. What are your thoughts on Goldberg Elites? Too scrawny and short. Uh, the last one I saw was the one that had the black and white uh, half um, trunks, the Valley Tudo trunks that came with the, uh, was it the Elimination Chamber playset? And that one, it seemed like it was a decent figure. It had like the gray goatee. Side shows the child looks better than the Hot Toys version, faceless honor. Yeah, as far as faces alone, I'm going for the sideshow version. I, I, I'm going to probably keep the sideshow pre-order um but when i heard that hot toys was doing a one-to-one -one scale i'm like oh friggin great i jumped the gun too fast but now that i see pictures of the hot toys it comes with a ton of awesome accessories it looks good it just does not look as as uh accurate as the sideshow uh i'm gonna go ahead and get into this hot toy figure because i'm gonna get lost in the the chat here if i if i keep going that route but I just wanted to show you, I got this new Hot Toys figure. Uh, I had a gift card, so that helped go towards this. Freaking dropped the box and it made a dent in the corner and that bugs me. Even though this is not gonna be on display, the box is not gonna be on the display. The figure's definitely gonna be on display. But the fact that I dinged the box pisses me off. Anyway, I got this uh, Emperor on Throne, Emperor Palpatine on Throne. Uh, but I got this Hot Toys. I already took it out of the box, and I'm going to do just a very, very mini showcase now. I don't have all the accessories that it comes with, but I already took it out of the box. So I'm going to show you the figure first. I'm going to show you the throne. I'm going to show you the light-up features. Um, but I really like the figure. So here we go. So here is the base that it comes with. Um, the little nameplate is getting washed out with the light, but it says Emperor. There we go. Emperor Palpatine there. Uh, it comes with one of these like, um, that was agile. I just caught his walking stick with my legs as it fell. Uh, it comes with one of these little things. For those that buy Hot Toys figures, you know that Star Wars has started including like these different uh, covers for the bases that make it look like it's kind of part of a scene. So that looks like the floor of the second Death Star to me. But there's his base. Here is the figure, and I hope this is coming through on my camera, but this is just an amazing freaking looking figure. It just looks awesome. I mean, look, you're not gonna see all the details and stuff in his face, but this just looks amazing. I mean, look at that. That just looks scary. 
Um, but he comes with this stick, this walking stick, as you can see there. And then I have him holding Luke's saber. The Luke's the Luke uh, saber hilt can actually just rest on the arm of the throne, which I'm going to show you in a second. But I just wanted to show you. Let's see how close I can get to this to show you some. I mean, that's badass. So they're sold out of just the figure by itself on SideshowToy.com. They, I got this one. They still have this one in stock. It's free shipping right now. Um, so if you have the money to spend and you want a good Emperor Palpatine, um, this is just a freaking amazing figure. But there is Luke's saber hilt. And the robe... Is there a wire in there? There is a wire. There's a wire in the very bottom so you can articulate to make it look like it's flowing if he's walking or whatnot. He's got like a little under robe there. But, uh, and then I'll pull back the hood. Show you the detail on the head. It's a great looking figure. I'm sure if you're a Hot Toys collector, you've seen this thing many times before, but I just wanted to share it because I really like it and uh, it's my newest figure and uh, I really like the way it looks on the shelf. But there's the Palpatine. And then here is the base and this base has some weight to it. Um, it feels like it's made of vinyl, but it, it's very, very thick. It's thick and dense. So it's got weight to it. And this base, it separates there, but it takes batteries because it's got a light up feature. And I'm going to show you the light up feature in a second here. So the hilt can basically rest. Yeah, that's the side he had it on. Rest right there. And it just sits there. But uh, you probably won't be able to see the light up feature the way my lighting is right now. But let me just turn it on. So there are a couple lights. There's two lights right here. There's a light right there. There's a light right there, an orange light, and then two red lights. And then there's a light right there. So uh, if he is sitting in the throne, which you have to really kind of manipulate him to get him looking right sitting in this throne, because the throne, while it looks fantastic, is slightly undersized. Uh, it could have been just a, a little bit bigger and it would have fit him better. Or they could have maybe added another joint in the abs to kind of crunch him down better and just make him sit more naturally in the throne. I got it to look really good last night sitting in the throne. Uh, but I took it out and uh, I just have him standing right now in the detail. But I'll, this is one of the figures that I'll probably just like switch up the poses to. I'll have him sitting. I'll have him standing. I'll have him shooting the lightning. I didn't show you the lightning, but it comes with two like lightning effects that fit into his fingers and he can shoot the lightning. So there's a lot of posing options. Uh, but currently I have him standing in front of this thing. Uh, I am waitlisted right now for an Imperial Guard or a Royal Guard, the red one. And if I get that one, then I'll probably have Palpatine sitting in the throne and then the Royal Guard just kind of flanking him. If I can get two Royal Guards, um, then that would be ideal, but I want to at least try and start with one and see how it looks. So there you go. Um, but there is the new hot toy that I picked up. So let me get to some comments here and then we'll talk Joe's. Uh, but if you're just joining, first of all, 128 people on here. Thank you for uh, joining. Thank you for the thumbs up. There's 58 thumbs up. I already unboxed the two WWE Elite figures. I got the Luke Harper and uh, Matt Hardy. And then... I just showed you my new Hot Toys figure, which is an Emperor Palpatine. So I'm going to get to some comments now. Uh, a lot of comments here. So let me uh, just start. Uh, let's see. DJ MPTV, all the wrestlers live in Florida. So that might be the reason that if Marty Squirrel lives in Florida, that I mean, that makes sense. He did say in the video that he had uh, bought stuff from that Super Gabby guy before. So Squirrel might live in Florida. I don't know where he lives. Since you do have an address, oh yeah, Jeff, um, hit me up after this and I'll, I'll send you the uh, PO box. I think I went too high on the comments, so let me let me scroll down here for a second. And while I look at comments, I'm going to transform Wheeljack and see if I can do it without looking while I'm looking at the comments here. Nope, I already have to look. <laughs> so I'm just uh, I got to get a couple of these parts unlocked. There we go. And then since, he, oh, 
Jeff, hit me up, dude, after this one. Uh, Red K2000, uh, what it be, man? Uh, let's see here. How's, oh, I read that one. Yeah, I went way too high on these when I was scrolling up. DJ MPTV, Calgary Flames alternate jersey comes in today. I'm excited. Did you get a name on that uh, Flames jersey? I have um, Matthew Kachuk on mine. Uh, loving the lunchtime live stream helps while staying at home. Chris Mendiola says, uh, 35 minutes in, I got 25 minutes left. I use my lunch hour to do this. I, I have, uh, some work that I got to finish up on today. So I, I got to stick to the, I'm trying to remember how the frick to do this. Okay. <laughs> I told you guys I'm terrible transforming transformers. They used to be so damn easy when I was a kid. <laughs> now they're, now they're super freaking complicated. Not really. Shit. I mean, whoops. <laughs> I, just, I forgot that I can't edit out bad words in this. Um, this is the piece that continuously pops off for me. It easily pops on. It's part of the windshield, but I just have to remember how the, how it pops back on. Because you're supposed to like fold it in and down when you're doing the legs. Anyway, guys, sorry for the S-bomb there if there's any kids watching. Don't repeat bad words that... Uh, Uncle Cincy says, kids. Uh, let's see here. Frick. I did it with the other leg, too. See? This is what I continuously ran into when I was messing around with this thing. <laughs> Where was I? Um, all right. I got to scroll down because I went way too high. Matt is in AEW. Yes. Uh, Madria Walker and Matt Hardy is in AEW now. So is... Uh, Brody Lee, a.k.a. Luke Harper. Did I freaking do this? This is why I don't do this stuff on camera. Um, can't wait for the next Rippin' Pucks. And Marie, yeah, I gotta, I gotta edit uh, those. I, I'm probably gonna do it this weekend. Hopefully I'll have time to do it then. But uh, I have uh, two Rippin' Pucks videos that I gotta do. Um... Uh, let's see. What lights do you use for detox? I use, uh, so Insane Goon asks, what lights do I use? I use dioder lights, which are from Ikea. And they work perfectly for me. And I don't use a light strip on every, this piece is the one that also popped off. Thankfully for these, <laughs> for these figures, a lot of the pop, a lot of the pops. A lot of the pieces that pop off during transformation easily pop back on. So this is where I am so far. So I'm going to flip off his head. Uh, how's the nephew who thinks your vids are cringy? Tom Bowling says, I think that's the person that as soon as I post a video, thumbs down my, <laughs> my videos. And I have to admire his uh, dedication <laughs> to doing that. Uh, but yeah, he is... He is a big fan of uh, Minecraft videos. So um, anything that's not a Minecraft video is garbage to him. So he, <laughs> even though his own uncle, his own uncle is a YouTuber, a YouTuber, uh, he thumbs down my videos as soon as they get published. I think it's hilarious. But uh, hey, I did it. I did it on a video, even though three parts popped off. Uh, Rashad, I have not been to the post office uh, in a long time, in a while. So I have to, I have to go to the post office. Um, I also have to mail out, I have packaged up um, two of the uh, things from the giveaway. I have to mail those. If, if you guys are watching, um, I have to mail those out. But um, I'm kind of afraid <laughs> to go out right now. I've been at home so much. I'm afraid to go out like in, into the, uh, the wild and do stuff. I don't want to get freaking Corona. Um, and I've been watching like very closely. Only two people have gotten Corona in my uh, little town here. Um, but you can never be too safe. Anyway. Slim Tim says Killer Cross is in NXT now. I kind of saw that coming because his, I think it's his girlfriend or wife, maybe Scarlett Bordeaux. Uh, is in NXT also. She's been in there for a few months, I think. So I figured he would be there eventually. Uh, let's see. 
I do not have any $6 million man uh, figures, Robert, in my collection. But I, I used to watch that show religiously. The show that I liked with Lee Majors more, even more than that was The Fall Guy. The Fall Guy in the 80s was one of my favorite shows. Uh, Dukes of Hazard, Fall Guy, um, Chips. Those were my some of my favorite TV shows as a kid. And if they ever produced, I know they made them a while back, but if they ever produced that big 4x4 pickup truck that The Fall Guy used to drive in the show and, and they made it in like a, a nice size version, I would definitely buy that because... My door just opened, but no one popped their head through uh, because I, I love that show. Now afraid of the outside world, the Smirking Bear Studios is. Uh, what's your favorite Transformer? My Like my favorite character is uh, Optimus Prime. By the way, when I do this, I'm cracking my neck. Um, a lot of people see me do that. There, it just popped again. But I, I do that like throughout the day, just crack my neck. Uh, Optimus Prime. Cliff Jumper, Wind Charger, Soundwave, Laserbeak. Those are my favorite characters from Transformers. Too bad they never produced any Airwolf toys. That would be badass if they did the Airwolf Chopper. Uh, also the Chopper from Blue Thunder. That would be cool too. Because they did a Blue Thunder, obviously the movie, Roy Schneider. Excellent movie. But if they, they had a TV show for Blue Thunder also. A short-lived TV show. I don't even think it lasted a full season. Maybe, maybe a full season. I don't know. But... Um, yeah, if, if like, who, what's the name of the F Jada toys, the one that does all the fast and furious die cast cars. If they did like a freaking blue thunder or an airwolf, you're looking at the guy that's going to buy that kind of stuff. So there is a market out there. All us people in our thirties and forties and older, we'll buy that stuff because that was childhood right there. Who is killer cross? Killer cross is a, a pretty good wrestler. Um, and he is in NXT now. He was in Impact Wrestling for a while. What do you think of the, what does that say? Some of the new figs coming out. Which ones, Madria? Who's my favorite Avenger? Uh, Iron Man, probably, because I have the most Iron Man Hot Toys figures. I have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And five if you count Hulkbuster. I like Iron Man. I like Tony Stank. Um, Robert Chattel says, I have the Blue Thunder TV series. It's not bad. Let's see. All right. I, am I caught up on comments? Don't I mean Tony Stank? I do, in fact, mean Tony Stank. So let's talk G.I. Joe's, okay? So obviously we got the reveal this morning. It surprised the heck out of me. I posted pictures of it. Again, I got to credit NARC, not another retro channel, Craig, my buddy, for showing me the first picture I saw of that Destro and literally just jaw on floor. It just looks so good. So I got out, uh, I got out the Destro. So this is the, uh, I think this is the 50th anniversary Destro. An excellent figure, by the way. Probably not that expensive if you tried to buy it right now, but this is a three and three quarter inch figure. I'm going to share some other figures that I would love, love to see in like wave two. I think wave one is going to be uh, just Destro is um, the only Cobra character. I think we're going to get Baroness in Wave 2 since she's on the packaging. We'll probably also get Gung Ho or Leatherneck since he's on the packaging. But um, obviously, we have a Snake Eye, so we also need a Storm Shadow. And I don't remember which set this is from, but this is a modern Storm Shadow, three and three-quarter inch Storm Shadow. Is this the Renegades version? I don't remember. Someone let me know. But uh, this is an awesome Storm Shadow. And if it looked like this, a lot like this, I would love it. What they could do with the Storm Shadow figure, because he has had a few different looks uh, from cartoons, comics, and whatnot. Sometimes he has no sleeves. Sometimes he has a sleeve that ends like right below his bicep. Sometimes he has long sleeves. How about some alternate arms with the Storm Shadow? Maybe even make it a deluxe figure, have him come with a ton of accessories like the Snake Eyes. But that would be awesome if you could pop in the different arms that you want to give him the different looks for Storm Shadow. So there's a suggestion. If anyone at Hasbro is watching this live stream, you never know. Suggestion, different arms for Storm Shadow. 
another character that I would absolutely love for them to do in six inch form is Zartan. And this 50th, 30th, I don't freaking know. It's uh, it's a modern Zartan. I really love it. It's freaking beautiful. And the thing that I would suggest here is, so the original Zartan and then this Zartan also comes with different faces. This is a, I believe this was supposed to be a Duke face. And then see how it's kind of like hollowed out. You put the face in there. I'll just do it. And it gives Zartan a, a different look like he's someone else. So, so there you go. But what they could do is different heads. So just like they do with Marvel Legends, how they include multiple head sculpts, include a couple additional Marvel, include a couple addition head sculpts, not Marvel, head sculpts to include with the Zartan so you could pop off the head uh, and then put the new head on. And then the, the hood can be a separate plastic piece that just rests on the head. So all the heads would obviously need to be the same size so that the hood fits on all of them securely and isn't loose. But uh, there's my suggestion for Zartan, but I definitely want a Zartan figure in six inch. Um, I know we're getting a Cobra Commander. Uh, we're probably getting, I'll just show you this one right now. We're probably getting, I know we're getting this Cobra Commander because he's on the packaging. But this right here, I am showing you this because this right here, is that called a claw? I forgot, I'm brain farting. Um, this right here can be a very, very cool small vehicle. The first vehicle they do with the six inch Joe line. I think that would work perfectly and it would look awesome. You know, at some point we're gonna get vehicles with the Joe line, but test it out. See how this sells. If I can show you the detail without the freaking light. This light is terrible. Anyway, that would be cool if we got, I think that's called a claw. The claw, Wally uh, confirms it's the claw. That would be awesome in six inch form. But I also want this version of Cobra Commander in six inch form, because this would look freaking amazing. The battle armor version of Cobra Commander, six inch form, that would look great. Removable helmet, that would look amazing. Um, if you're just joining me, I'm going over my wish list for six inch GI Joe figures that I'd love to see in the line since we just got uh, spoiled with an amazing looking Destro figure this morning, which pretty sure everyone that's a Joe fan has already pre-ordered, but this is the other one, a bat. This could be awesome. If they did a six inch bat and made it look as close to the original version as possible, and they gave us these various arm attachments that you could plug in, claw, blowtorch, drill, that would be, insanely cool. So there's my immediate, very short wish list for um, Cobra figures that I'd love to see in six inch form. What I'll do next week, probably on Monday, is to share some Joes that I'd like to see in six inch form. And I'll show you the three and three quarter inch versions of those. But once again, I will continue to collect my three and three quarter inch figures. I just, at this point, I just need a very good way to display them. So if you are a collector of three and three quarter inch Joes or Star Wars or anything, and you have found a good way to display them, I personally think that Detolfs is probably not the best way to display them unless you use like a tiered step system, like an acrylic step system. Uh, there's just so much like empty space, even six inch. Look at the amount of space and the, the Motus there. Look at how much dead space is there. It's like you need risers on every shelf to use the space. So... I just, I really want to display these three and three quarter inch figures and I, I need a good way to do it. Uh, I think the baseball bat tubes that people use for like Funko Pops, I think that would work actually really, really good for three and three quarter inch figures. But um, I have three of those, those like baseball bat displays. I just need uh, to hang them up and start displaying. <clears throat> BJ says, say Duke face again. <laughs> So there you go, Duke face. <laughs> I'm going to scroll up and try and find where I left off while I drink because my throat's getting dry. Blue Ridge Toy Hunter says they could do Zartan with the Swamp Skier. That would be an awesome vehicle. Again, it's a smaller vehicle 
which is good. That's that's a good way to kind of test the waters with vehicles. Um, because GI Joe back in the 80s, some people collected Joes for the vehicles. Uh, they weren't as into the figures. Uh, it turned into people liking the figures more, but there's a large amount of Joe fans that got into Joe's and Joe collecting for the vehicles. So I know there's a lot of people. All right. So this is a good uh, comment here. Um, so yeah, Blue Ridge Twiner. I totally agree. Swamp Skier would be good. Oh man. Uh, Imperial Holocron. Claw. There you go. Ram Cycle. Yes. The Jump Pack and the Ferret. There's quite a lot of early stuff they could do. Totally agree. Imperial Holocron. Excellent. Choices there. I would love a ferret. I just bought a vintage ferret for my Tomax and Zamot. So that would be incredible if they did a ferret. There was a Blue Thunder helicopter toy. It came out in 1983, Sith Viper 77 says. Oh, Kyle Isley says they could do the Zartan like the new Hoth Rebel Trooper. It has swappable faces. I haven't seen how that actually works. Uh, I thought it was swappable heads, but that's cool. If it's swap swappable faces, it must be like one where you just like lift the hat off and then pull the full face off and it like plugs in. I haven't actually looked at that figure enough to understand how the face swap technology works. But yeah, that would work. They could do Zartan the same way. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. I'm in Power Ranger mode right now. Yes, yeah, Smirking Bear Studio. I cannot find that damn Yellow Ranger anywhere. I'm looking for the Yellow Ranger. Uh, Blue Ranger is still on pre-order. Um, that Pink Ranger, I forgot her name. Um, the one that's from the comic. That's on pre-order, but I need a Yellow Ranger, and like it's sold out everywhere. I'm sure it'll hit the stores pretty heavy, and then Amazon will have a ton of it, but I, I've... Uh, if you could see down there, that's my Power Ranger shelf. And I love that shelf. Uh, Kanji Club says a six inch scale USS flag. I think that's pretty much imp <laughs> impossible to do. That thing would, that thing would be gigantic. Uh, let's see. Um, comments just jumped. So Ranger Slayer. A G.I. Joe vamp would be doable. Hey, Cincy, I got a question. I have a chance to get the Red Hulk for 40 bucks from a buddy of mine. That is, uh, is that a good deal? Thanks for reading your love, reading. Love your channel, bro. Ian, uh, if you want to just get the figure and not worry about actually getting out there and hunting it and hunting it down and being shot down at stores because they can't find it in the back or they sold it a minute before you got there, 40 is not bad. It's what is it? A $30 figure. So it's a $10 markup. But I mean, if you just want to get it and, and not have to worry about it anymore, it's not that bad of a added price to pay for that figure. Uh, let's see. Patrick Butcher says the Cobra trouble bubble would be a good six inch vehicle. Shout out from uh, Joe Santo. You found it yesterday. Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about Red Hulk. Toto JR, shout out Cincy from Reno, Nevada. What are your favorite Power Rangers series and Power Rangers character? Favorite series is the Lightning Collection, the one that's out right now. Favorite character is the Green Ranger. Uh, Joe Santos says it's a $7 markup. It's like $33. So yeah, that's even better. I, you know, if in in right now specifically. I'd pay 40 for it just so I don't have to go out and risk my health to try and find one. So right now, I mean, it's, I, I would do it, but it's up to you. Some people are like, you know, I'm, I, I'm good. I'm going to hold out until I can find it at retail, but I don't think it's that much of a markup. Rashad says GI Joe snow vehicle, snowmobile, forgot the name. The frostbite was the driver. Snowcat. Is that the name of it? Or the polar bear? Um, I don't remember. Let me know in the chat. Snowcat, Patrick Butcher says. And I think the uh, the bear, the polar bear, was the... Um, hey, Kappa Police! Kappa Police is coming after me! Hi. 
I talked about you guys earlier, how you finish your schoolwork in like two or three hours, and then you have the rest of the day to, to chill out. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Okay. Don't knock anything over, please. I know. Um, how are you guys doing? Good. What are you doing? What did you do before you came in here just now? What were you, what were you doing? I was eating. Eating? Cuddling and watching YouTube. Okay. Who were you watching on YouTube? Shout out your favorite YouTuber right now. Mariah Elizabeth. Her favorite YouTuber is Mariah Elizabeth. How many viewers, subscribers does she have? Like 7 million or something? 4.4 <laughs> something million. 4.4 <laughs> million. And her channel is uh, solely based on squishy toys. So you know those toys that you see in like the cheap aisle in Target that are squishies and you squish them and then they get back to that size? Yeah, they're just squishies. They're just squishies. And then she, and then she um, paints them. She paints them. Here's how popular she, has, she is. And she has a lot of fans. Art stuff. Art stuff. She paints them. Yes. She's she's uh, very talented. But uh, here's what here's how popular she is. You know how I have a P.O. box and like maybe I'll get something every like six months? <laughs> her P.O. box, kids and people send her squishies to uh, resurrect, bring back, repaint, paint, paint and stuff. Her, she's so popular that like she doesn't even list her P.O. box on her description. Yeah, she you, says, have to, you have to email her and then she's like, and then she put in her description, it, um, I might not um, answer your, you because my email is super clogged up. So, so she doesn't list her P.O. box. In order to send her something, you have to email a generic email box and request the P.O. box. And if she writes you back, then you get the P.O. box to send her something. But I requested the P.O. box, and I still haven't heard back, and do it's it been, again. what, a, a month? Yeah, do it again. I'll do it again. Yeah. They really want to send her stuff and have her shout them out on her channel. But anyway, um, Angry Bird Squishies. Did you know they made Angry Bird Squishies? Ba uh, Big Baby Josh said that. Thank goodness your daughters didn't say Kardashian. <laughs> Uh, oh, do that one! Yeah, you should paint your I hot toys to. for views. No Can thanks. I, yes, 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 yes. I would too. I would. Me too. Uh, think of all the toilet paper you could buy with forty dollars. Um, oh, we're talking about the Red Hulk. Did Tay Tay get her own room? Not yet. Twelve years old, she'll do that. Um, my son says hi to your girls. So Ben Taylor says hi. You want to say hi, hi to Ben? Hi. hi. Uh, what's your favorite con you have ever been to? My favorite con I've ever been to is either the Columbus Toy Show, uh, if you're a big toy fan and toy collector. It's the best toy show. I've never been to Kane County Toy Show in um, near Chicago, but uh, Columbus Toy Show is by far my favorite one. Um, and then my favorite, like, just general comic show is C2E2. The artist alley there is the best. Uh, a lot of vendor tables, a lot of celebrities go there. So C2E2 in Chicago – Wait, did he? I go get something. I come back there. Oopsies. Owie. Don't knock Emperor Palpatine off. Owie. Okay, <laughs> I, I come back though. Um, well, who's your favorite YouTuber? Uh, Mariah Elizabeth. Also, oh, Mar <laughs> Mariah Elizabeth also. What's your Hot Toys of the Year for 2019? My favorite one. Oh, 2019? Yeah. Uh, it, it was that... Uh, that one right there, but people corrected me in my best of 2019 video and said, uh, dude, that was your number one for 2018. So I, I don't even remember what I had as my number one for 2019. Was it Thanos? I don't know. Maybe it was Thanos. Or John Wick? I don't know. It was one of those. Wick! What's that? My rocks. So one of the things that we've been doing um, is collecting rocks. And painting them. Painting them. And I yeah. painted. And then leaving them on a trail so that other kids in the neighborhood, when they get out for fresh air, it's almost like a scavenger hunt. They find these painted rocks and they're like, oh, look at that one. We're not picking them up or anything so we don't get germs. But um, we leave them like under benches and next to trees. But I painted mine and I keep them here so I got water around my uh, Yes, I did shave. I shaved this morning. Uh, I got rid of it. I had a little goatee going. No one cares that you shave. Uh, so. Sarah Wee cares. <laughs> I got an avocado. <laughs> I got a strawberry. Aren't they nice? <laughs> I got a strawberry. And I got a donut. There you go. 
Mark 44 Prime, yes. Uh, any plans of going to C2E2 in Chicago next year? Would love to meet you, brother. Yeah, uh, next year, as long as we're corona-free, 100% I want to go to C2E2. Uh, I want, um, as soon as we can get out of this house and be virus-free and not even worry about that, I want to I want to hit the shows, hit the cons, Comic-Cons, let's do it. Anne-Marie says, I found a four-leaf clover painted rock, one that I kept. That's cool. Uh, favorite studio series transformer. I can't. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to that Sentinel prime. My favorite one though is the, uh, I like the bone crusher and I like the Megatron from the first transformers movie. <laughs> me. The kids bugging the dad. LOL, man. Two girls. That's tough. <laughs> Did you hear about Robert Downey Jr. Coming back to the MCU? Uh, no, I didn't hear about that. Hopefully it was not uh, reported on wegotthiscovered.com because that's, <laughs> that's a fake news site. All the headlines you see on We Got This Covered, they're, all, they're not real. So if that is true that uh, Robert Downey Jr. is coming back, I think he's going to make cameos personally. Since Stan Lee has passed, I think RDJ is going to be the cameo guy. And he can come back as like the uh, little hologram oh, in the past an hour. He can come back as like the AI version of Tony. Like he programmed himself as in an AI. That would be a good way to bring him back. Um, all of next year is canceled. Hopefully not, Ed. I can't wait for Sentinel Prime to drop me either. Question for the girls. How come dad never wears a Habs jersey? I actually had the Habs jersey in my hand. And then I realized, oh, I got the new Kings hat. I'm going to wear a Kings jersey. So Habs jersey next time. I got to go, though. It's past an hour. I got to get back to work. You guys got to get back to Whatever it was you were doing, say Wait goodbye. in bed and cuddling with really and watching YouTube. Cuddling YouTube. with the dog, watching YouTube. Say goodbye, guys. Bye, boy. Bye, bye. Thanks for joining, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the thumbs up. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay busy. Stay stress free. I'll see you guys Monday, Wednesday, Friday next week. You guys are awesome. No, stay coronavirus free. Yes, absolutely. Wash your hands. Stay hand sanitizer. Peace. Adios, guys. Thanks boy for joining. Boy. boy, boy.